<laughs> right, that should be back. Yeah, Mac up. It keeps disconnecting, so I'm just going to leave that for a minute and see if it um, comes back up. If it does it again, I think there might be a Twitch issue. It's definitely not my end. I've not no drop frames or anything. Let me check my internet. Let's do a speed check just to make sure. Because I don't want to start this and then the stream keeps going. That's just a waste of time. Uh, internet speed test. Let's run that. That looks fine. Oh no, my download actually is... Uh, my upload's fine, but my download not so much. Uh, I had this issue the other day. They might be doing some work at the junction or something. Let me just leave that for one second. And I'll try that again. It's always the way, isn't it, when... Uh, Yeah, because I've never touched them, <laughs> apart from the APU start switches, but yeah, for the motor and the IGN, and uh, the other ones, fuel, normal and override, left and right engines. Yeah, I wondered what that, I always wondered what the, uh, you'd use that for in its emergency, so that's good to know. Let me test this again. Oh yeah, it's coming back up now. Alright, so I'm going to jump into this in just one second. Um, looks like the internet's coming back up. Um, usually happens when they're doing work. The box is, is just at the end of the road. And uh, it just completely cuts it out. So let's go through here. We're going to do a turning point clearing turns, engine restart test. Uh, random emergency test, so I've got the uh, right place in the manual for that. And then we're going to do turn in point. Uh, random emergency test, and then the engines out landing test. Yeah, so it is engines out for the uh, reversion landing. You can start the APU as well. And get the avionics back online, so you get some HUD indications, your speed and things. So uh, I'll try and do that. So, uh, so the engine, flight engine restart. I wonder if that's neat. Uh, I'm going to do a, wants me to do a windmill test, or just the uh, single engine restart. So you can use the APU. So we just use the APU, I think. So let's just shut the engine down, put the APU on and then put it back on again. And you got to be below 20,000 feet. And then under 15,000 feet you can put the APU on. And then put the, uh, the operating throttle to maximum. Uh, set that to motor for the uh, operate switch to motor. So you still need to use those switches. Okay, should be uh, should be fun. Right, the stream hasn't dropped off yet. I just want to do one more internet test to see if it's fluctuating. Hopefully, it'll be all right now. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it looks to be fine. Although a little lower than it should be, it is still fine. So Cobaletti is the airfield that we're going to be using for the uh, engine out. Jettison area there, if you need to jettison your stores. There's the fuel, we want to uh, not go anywhere near that. Weapon storage is over here. So it's runway 25007. Oh, we've got this one. The emergency divert airfield uh, number two, which we did the other day, and so we had to use the emergency brakes for that to land in, in the right and jetson areas there. 
Right, let's give it a go. At least, um, if we don't pass it first time, at least we know what's expected for the second run. So let's load this in. Internal thing off. Welcome. Right, now Get your bird in the on. air so we can start this PO. Okay, let's go for it. We want that on. We want this on. Battery inverter. Test. Test. Test the fuel. Uh, let's put the uh, oxygen on and let's test that. That's done, and I need to do the uh, frequency. They never go first time, but second. Right, one, three, one. Let's get the APU running. Wait for that hundred degrees to come, uh, hundred percent to come up. Make sure the EGT doesn't run away. That should come back down. RPM is rising, and then we put the APU gem power at 100%. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <coughs> I think uh, you get to, you've got to get to know the procedures to be able to just do them straight off the bat. But we see, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But you know. right, APU gen on. Uh, then we want to put these on. Then we turn the radios on. Contact uh, ATC. Hatumi, Colt 1 1, request startup. Cycle the lights. Hatumi, clear for startup. Wind 096 oh. at 6 meters per second. Set to flash. Left hand engine. Pontiac, one, passing waypoint two, two hundred ninety. Pontiac, one, passing waypoint two, two hundred ninety. Colts two, passing waypoint two, seven thousand. Colts two, on this engine. There's the fuel flow. There's the fan air RPM. There's a percentage RPM. There's our temperature, we don't want that to go too high. There's the PSI. This comes up. Hydraulic system left is on. This angle of attack indicator is on. Let's go with the right engine. Uzi, on station at bullseye one two zero for four hundred at seven thousand. There's the RPM coming up. There goes the temperature. Fan RPM is going. Fuel flow. Colt one one, Colt two one, radio check. Uh, parent menu, other copy. One copy. Put ATC back on. I read you five by five. Five by five, excellent. Okay, wait for the starter to go off. Internal fuel is selected. Seven thousand of. Uh, Yeah, Don't skip any checklist items. The bird has to be fully mission operational right. to pass the this flaps. performance check. I'll right, leave those in manoeuvre. Let's go for the speed brakes. Coming down. All right, let's uh, try the controls. Stir the pot. 
rudders, sass. Take off trim. All right, let's get the strings on. Go for the bit tests. Standby instrument. G meter reset. And uh, let's turn this on now. Got to wait for the screens. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. All right, let's load all. I can't see if that way out there. So we've got some pods on. Exit that. Put those on. Uh, CDU. Tab page. Uh, INS is now ready. So we switch that on. Waypoint page. EGI. Middle APU can come off uh, EAS and uh, the other one that never goes on for some reason. Right. Uh, we'll be up to that can come on. ILS. Alright, let's go for ATC. Atumi, Colt, 1 1. Request taxi to runway. Taxi light, shut the door. Arm the seat. No Colt more steering one. on. Atumi, clear the taxi to runway 3 1. On 2, rolling. Check the brakes. One, rolling. Let's connect the throttles. Right. Now they're making a new cockpit. Um, what for the for this? Or are you meaning the K50? Because they're doing one for that as well, aren't they? That'd be interesting. A10C. Are they doing one for this as well? Are they? Excellent. So was it upgraded textures and things and 3D model? Uh, I should assume. Uh, that goes on steady. Let's flash those. Pito. That goes on. Let's do that. Let's request takeoff. Atomi, Colt, one, one. Request Six. takeoff. Colt, one, one. Atomi, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb 300 at QFE 29.89. Yeah, but look like. Uh, the latest modules, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Probably some wear and tear. It's like the K50 upgrading the systems, but you're going to have to pay for those uh, when that's released. But the 3D model is uh, free, and uh, it's going to have uh, new air-to-air -air missile as well for the K50. On the, on the I have to see if there's any extra goodies for the A10 or updated goodies. But everything's pretty much here already, isn't it, with this one? Right, let's look for 125. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right, let's go up. Gear up, nose back up, down. Let's get the flaps up. Just visuals, oh, okay, yeah. Alright, let's pitch up. 
performance check starts for now. A, uh, excellent. We like free. <laughs> Fly heading three zero zero Angel Six at two zero zero knots. Uh, three zero zero Angel Six two hundred. So we've got an ECM pod on. Gonna have to uh, jettison those. So we do. Uh, there's the button there. I assume. Nice leisurely climb. is in effect. Do not go below Angels 5 unless the restriction is terminated. Approaching Angels 6, level out and maintain 200 knots. Well done. Maintain 300 Angels 6 at 200 knots. Six thousand two zero zero. Just get a bit more uh, juice in the uh, throttles. There we go. Turn right to zero four zero. Maintain Angel Six at two zero zero knots. Zero four zero. Good. Maintain zero four zero Angel Six at two zero zero knots. All right. Let's see what this gives me. Can we clear in turns or something first? Is it? We'll need some altitude for the next series of maneuvers. Climb to Angels 10. Right up to Angels 10. I come out to nine thousand. So one thousand to go. Level out at Angels ten. Maintain zero four zero and increase speed to two two zero knots. Two two zero knots. Good. Maintain zero four zero angels ten at two two zero knots. I was putting some trim. You are now entering the military operations area. Oh, getting past that speed a bit. Just concentrating on the HUD. A clearing turn allows you to clear the area in which you are operating. You will make two ninety degree clearing turns, one to the left and one to the right. Make a 90 degree left turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Alright, here we go back round. 
Oh, he's coming with us this time. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Didn't realize I had a flight uh, wingman this time. Now make a 90 degree right turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Yeah, losing him a bit, but he'll catch up. So let's introduce the wingman into the mix by the looks of it then. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Alright, let's descend a bit. We will now perform the in-flight engine restart test. Shut down your left engine and then restart it as per the checklist. You have 60 seconds to complete this test. Begin 60 when seconds? Ready. Uh, shut down left engine. Right. So left engine is coming off. Good. Now restart your engine. You have 30 seconds to complete the procedure. Oh, I don't know if I'll have enough time. There we go, it's coming on. You failed to respond to the emergency correctly. The correct procedure is to move the inoperative engine throttle to off, move the APU switch to power, set the engine operate switch of the affected fly heading 040 Angels 10 at 220 knots. Maintain 040 Angels 10 at 220 knots. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, no pressure. Uzi, passing waypoint 4 at 7000. Thing is, you've got to wait for the. Uh, we will now do APU random emergency response testing. Various emergencies will be presented to you, and you must respond as per the checklist. You will have 30 seconds to respond to each emergency. We begin now. Oh, you've got to be joking. CDU failure. No idea. But I need to get an idea of what it's going to throw at me. I'm going to have to go through all of these emergency procedures. It looks like they're going to be random. Good. You responded to the emergency correctly. I did. <laughs> All right. Left generator failure. Good. 
You responded to the emergency correctly. So those need to stay off, don't they? Yeah, I don't like him being there. Turn to heading 210, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Well, I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. So if you get a generator failure, you've got to turn it off and start the APU and put the APU gen on. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, CDU, just turn it off and press the uh, auxiliary button. So I'm using the standby instruments. So obviously I've lost the HUD. Good. Maintain 210, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Oh, I need to get to Angels 10. Right hydraulic failure. Oh, now you're asking. Where's the hydraulics panel? Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. idea for this one. Uh, right hydraulic, right hydraulic reservoir. You failed to right, respond no to the emergency idea. correctly. Set the speed the brake, emergency to switch, switch to emergency retract on the EFCP. To emergency return on set the, the SAS and skid paddle panel. up to off. Set the SAS anti-skid oh, paddle that, that to off. off. Keep pitch SAS off. Off like that. This final emergency test is one that you hope you never have to do under combat conditions. You will be presented with an emergency and required to perform a manual reversion landing at the nearest airfield. Okay, so let's go to... A manual reversion landing should only be attempted in ideal conditions like we have today. Maximum allowed crosswind is 20 knots. The aircraft must be in a clean condition, so ensure any external stores are jettisoned first. this test with air traffic control at both Kabuleti and the emergency divert airfield located north of Batumi. Choose the airfield you wish to land at and then make your attempt. The hard deck restriction has been terminated. You are authorized to eject if necessary. Good luck.
Take it use pitch and then start losing hydraulic. You failed to respond to yeah. the emergency correctly. The correct procedure is to set the flap emergency return switch to emergency return on the emergency flight control panel. Set the SAS anti-skid paddle to off. Keep pitch SAS off. Set flaps to full up. Enable manual reversion mode. So where's the EFCP then? Flap emergency retraction switch. No idea what that would be. Absolutely no clue. So I need to find that. Oh, that hit, didn't it? <clears throat> yeah, right, so I've got to look up a few things for this one. Oh, blimey. I've got the first few minutes, she's fine. But, um... Whew. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, let's quit. Whew. Right, so that, um... A couple of those emergencies are fine, just turn stuff off. If you, um... And the other one was, you know, APU on and stick the APU gen on. So we had some hydraulic failures there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The uh, you never usually get emergencies, so uh, you're now getting to learn where those extra bits are, what those extra switches are for. The RETR switch needs to come on. So that's kind of. Uh, Interesting, but we had hot hydraulics gone and some nav um, de degradation. CDU went. Whew. Absolutely interesting. But uh, there's quite a lot here for the emergency procedures. I mean, 60 seconds to get the engine back up and running is something, in you know. So, where's that? got to find out. I'm just looking for it. Um, 
We looked at it a minute ago. Okay, so um, you can do an APU restart. So let me put my throttles in the off position. So move the inoperative engine throttle into the off position, yeah. So let's put those back up. So yeah, inoperative engine needs to come down in the off position. Um, move the operating throttle to max, so that's off, that's on max. Switch the motor switch. you got to wait for the engine ITT to come below 100 degrees. Uh, move the switch to uh, throttle to idle, motor switch to normal. Re-engage SAS. Okay, so the motor switch stays there. Once restart, put it in normal. And then we're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> so that back, that forward, that's a motor. APU. So that off, this engine goes up, APU comes on. Then we set that to motor, we wait a second. Switch it to idle, wait for the start, go to normal. And that should be it. Then re-engage SAS if that came off. Right, that's that procedure. When it shows you uh, moments you've got a list, <laughs> it's like this. So I'm wondering if, um, yeah, are they different every time or, uh, yeah, just eject, yeah. Try and save the aircraft, but, uh, you know, eject. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I think that's what, what you're going to have to do is pause it, aren't you? Because some of the, um, some of this is, uh, Let's see, um, uh, hydraulic failure, okay, that's got like four sections, it has left side, right side, or both. So if the right side or the left side system fails, you've got different things to do. So the right side went, so um, speed brake emergency RETR switch to emergency RETR on the emergency flight control panel. Right, so that's that slider, so we did that. If pressure continues to decrease, uh, set the SAS anti-skid paddle to off. So you need to find that paddle. Keep SAS off, pitch SAS off. Enable anti-skid if left hydraulic system is still operable, and then land as soon as possible. So if you get a right side hydraulic failure, you're supposed to land. So, but if the left system fails, you set the flap emergency uh, switch to emergency RETR. Uh, same procedures with the anti-skid, then land as soon as possible. If the left system fails, you lose flaps, nose wheel steering, normal landing gear operation, wheel brakes, anti-skid, uh, hydraulic control of the left elevator and rudder actuators, and you lose, um, lose the dual channel pitch and your SAS. And if the right side fails, you lose slats, the refueling thing, speed brakes, Right elevator and rudder actuators, loss of dual channel pitch and your SAS. So if both systems fail, maintain 1G flight between 180 and 210 knots, set flaps to full up, use emergency retract if needed, jets and stores, 
enable manual reversion mode. So that's interesting. <clears throat> There's quite a lot to that, isn't there? It's not just a, a case of flick a few switches. Which is interesting. Starting to turn into work a little bit, isn't it? When you start having to do all these sorts of things, but um, this is the way to get to learn the A10C and its systems and, and what they're for and how to use them and what to do if they don't work anymore. So uh, it's a bit on my pay grade. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, all the this uh, all the thrust towards like a Milsim experience means you got to know all of this stuff. And uh, that's why uh, a lot of people don't, is, there is a lot to it and it takes quite a while. And, uh, you know, if you don't get, the emergencies you get may present themselves if you get shot. Or if you get hit by a missile or a AAA gets so you may have a system or two that, that goes. So if you're losing hydraulic power, what you usually do is just crash reject but there is a way to uh, do it and uh, try and get back to your airfield yeah it's to some degree yeah yeah but the thing is yeah it's, a, it's you know because the damage modeling's now you'll have a system failure and that's all coming on online so you're flying along you go to bomb target, AAA manages to shoot your aircraft and in that area you have a system failure. Uh, it doesn't always mean that's the end of the story if you know how to deal with it. But, uh, you know, if you get to land your aircraft then you're going to look skilled and you're going to look good. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people will crash and just eject. Which is fine, that's what I do. But um, this campaign is really pushing it. Yeah, exactly. You know, the thing is, what you got to remember about all of this as well is that it is a hobby. It's not a job. You're not training to become a real world pilot. You're just. It's a hobby, isn't it? Get in, enjoy it, blow some stuff up, have some fun. Do some uh, flights with friends, go on a server, and and then go to bed, you know. And so that's perfectly fine. Absolutely, I'm no Milsim pilot. I can tell you that much, and likely never be. But I thought I'd take my take the reins to the A10 and try and learn using these campaigns and go through them and see what they're like and um, enjoying it. Yeah. <clears throat> Although when you start seeing, you know, it goes from this much to learn to this much to learn. You know, you've got to decide how far you want to take it. And uh, don't feel bad because you haven't got the time to learn all of this and only fly one aircraft. Just enjoy it. Just have fun and ignore the anyone that tells you different, you know. What's it got to do with them at the end of the day? It's your hobby. Absolutely. It's all about what's most fun for you. Agree completely. And it doesn't mean that you're any of a lesser pilot or person because of it. It just means, you know, you've got a life. I think uh, for those that learn these really in depth and stuff, um, you must have a lot of free time. <laughs> I 
But I mean, in the airliner world as well, you know, uh, P3D stuff, FSX stuff, I used to do FSX. Yeah, very lucky if you've got that much free time. Or unlucky, maybe you need to get a job or something. <laughs> but the um, FSX stuff, and you know, uh, you learn the flows and then you use the checklist to check that you've, you've done the flows correctly. So you're learning flows and then you'd have a checklist to make sure everything's where it should be in, in the correct place and things like this. Using charts for navigation, flight planning and uh, flight management computer and checking your fuel and all this good stuff. So it's similar in that respect but um, you've got to be extremely quick. And that just takes time, effort and practice, you know, if you want to do it, do it and enjoy it. But don't don't do this if you're not going to enjoy it because you'll just hate it. <clears throat> Which is probably why there's not more of this for the other modules. You know, people just won't. If it's a small group of people that go to that extent. So it's a small group within a small group within a small group hobby. <clears throat> niche within a niche within a niche, you know. But hats off, yeah. Alright, I'll have another go at this in just a second, just taking a breather. Uh, what's the time now? It is uh, 20 past 3 in the afternoon in the UK, GMT plus 1 and uh, had a few uh, stream issues earlier but they seem to have resolved now with the internet going down up and down for a little bit but um, yeah this is uh, challenging very challenging but it's not it's not impossible it's just challenging and uh, you need to do a few attempts before you get some of this stuff some of you will get it straight away some of you won't depends but uh, if you want to be the best, if you want to be a top pilot in DCS and if you want to do competitive stuff, you've got to know uh, air to air and all the things like that to uh, a, an extraordinarily um, an extraordinary level. And you've got to keep practicing all the time. I guess that's all you've got to do. And then you start winning eventually. But uh, you've got to be dedicated to, to, to go that far. I don't think I could do that. I don't. I wouldn't have the time or the energy. But if that's your thing and you enjoy it and that's what you want to do, great. And we'll all come watch you. <laughs> Next stop, Satow. Yeah, yeah. After this campaign, we get we get um, proficient on the A10, professional, and then we start with the air-to-air -air stuff on another aircraft and uh, end up winning Satow. We we'll do that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You know, as long as you got Phoenix missiles, you're good, aren't you? I usually fly for, uh, I like the more casual, fun, relaxed side of things uh, and uh, going into missions, joining a group and doing all that stuff pushes you to get better, but um, I have a limit on how far I can go with that. <clears throat> when it stops being fun and feels like work for me, then it's time to go and do something else. Right then, I think I'll have one more attempt at this. Uh, it's good just to keep it uh, going. In the air so we can start this PO. The only thing that gets a bit repetitive and samey is having to start up each time. 
be nice if you jumped into a hot start. After you've got the startup procedure down, um, it's nice to save a bit of time if you're going to do these like one or two after the other. But um, I oh, haven't delved into multiplayer yet. Uh, it depends where you go and what you do in there. But um, learning formation flying with people is fun. And uh, being in the flight and going to shoot some uh, and bomb some stuff is good fun. And that's uh, what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, forgot to do me. Um, what's this? One, three, one. See, there's the RECVR, RCVR. Which is fuel. Well, I don't know. I'll have to pause it in a bit and have a good look. Okay, waiting for the 100%. Maybe it's not that. Hmm. Right, that's coming on. Oh, let's contact ATC and get the engine started. Atumi, Colt, 1 1, request startup. There it is. Emergency retract for speed brake. Elevators, aileron, flap. There's the emergency for flap. Um, I need to turn on the. Uh, I'm actually getting quite tired now from uh, concentrating. Uh, let's do that again. Uh, between you first start up. Colt one one request start up. Yeah, it is a commitment. It's like you join a flying group and uh, you'll end up doing however, you know, they want a commitment of so many flights a week or to have a certain amount of knowledge or to have or to keep getting better and improving and uh, cool. one, one, cool. yeah it's Two, definitely one. a commitment Radio check. Uh, let's see one copy uh. I read you five by five Getting the engine started. Don't skip any checklist items. The bird has to be fully mission operational to pass this performance check. The emergency brakes actually down here. It's this handle here. Right, there we go. Let's cycle the uh, flaps. You have to move the switch twice for some reason. Doesn't see it straight away. I'll leave that and then. Okay, let's 
do the controls, let's do the speed brakes. Move the rudders, stir the pot. Let's put on the sass. And take off trim, check that. Let's go for screens. Bit test. That, let's change this. Pull up, pull up. Does it mean you've skipped something? Altitude, altitude. What's that? Acknowledge that. Oh, what where I've got to say copy? Oh, I don't know. I didn't, I'm not sure which message you mean. Oh, crap. Uh, CDU. Uh, you said you need to go through all tests. Yeah, it's just, it's just a reminder that he says make sure you do XYZ because you tested on it. Um, Essentially, uh, AP you can come off. Uh, EAC and that one. Turn this on. Make sure that's turned on actually. Uh, yeah, it's on. ATC. Colts, one, one. Request taxi to runway. That goes on. That comes on. Shut the canopy. Nose wheel steering. steady taxi out to the runway. Go to there, that can come on, uh, that can come on, that on. Atumi, Colt, one, one, request takeoff. Colt, one, one, Atumi, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb 300 at QFE 29.89. Yeah, 2989 set. Let's do the run up 90%. And you make sure no warnings or lights are flashing at you. Brakes off 100%. Alright, finger on gear lever. Turn that off. Get 
the nose down. Get the speed up. Look for 180. Flaps are up. Your performance check starts now. Fly heading 300, Angel 6 at 200 knots. Roger that. And our feet off rudders. Hard deck limit is in effect. Do not go below Angels 5 unless the restriction is terminated. Roger that. Approaching Angels 6, level out and maintain 200 knots. Well done. Maintain 300 Angels 6 at 200 knots. Right, there we go, let's trim. Just scanning the uh, speed and altitude. Turn right to 040, maintain Angel 6 at 200 knots. Right, let's get the nose round. Good. Maintain 040, Angel 6 at 200 knots. A little bit sharp on that one. We'll need some altitude for the next series of maneuvers. Climb to Angels 10. Well, let's go up to Angels 10 then. Uzi, passing waypoint 3 at 7,000. Approaching Angels 10. Level out at Angels 10. Maintain 040 and increase speed to 220 knots. Good. Maintain 040 Angels 10 at 220 knots. You are now entering the military operations area. turn allows you to clear the area in which you are operating. You will make two 90 degree clearing turns, one to the left and one to the right. No wig man this time. Make a 90 degree left turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. 
Alright, left turn. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Now make a 90 degree right turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. We will now perform the in-flight engine restart test. Shut down your left engine and then restart it as per the checklist. You have 60 seconds to complete this test. Begin when ready. Alright, engine off. That one to max. APU start. Good. Now restart your engine. You have 30 seconds to complete the procedure. No Good. You responded to the emergency correctly. Fly heading 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. I'm putting the... Uh... Good. Also Maintain 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Warning, autopilot. We will now do random emergency response testing. Various emergencies will be presented to you and you must respond as per the checklist. You will have 30 seconds to respond to each emergency. We begin now. Alright. Just need a little break. <clears throat> and we've got a CDU failure. <clears throat> so last time I just turned them off, didn't I? Yeah, it was, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, they might be coming. Um, yeah, I wonder if... Um, they are just set. So what it says, uh, CDU failure. On the AAP, set the CDU switch to off for at least four seconds. So that's those. I'm take it. And then turn them back on again. Reload DTS data. Um, select desired navigation mode. Select panel settings, which is here. Well, let's see what happens this time. Warning, autopilot. I'll set that off. Acknowledge, acknowledge that. Turn them back Good. On. You responded to the emergency correctly. Oh, yeah, I missed that one, didn't I? 
was too busy messing with that. <laughs> oh, I've oh, got my wingman back. Uh, left generator, generator failure. So, left system. So we've got to find the um, emergency retract for the flap. It's there. So what it says to do is set that one and then uh, set left system. I oh, know we're talking generator this time, aren't we? So that was wrong. So it's the generator, so is that APU start? Let's see if I've got something on here for this. No, I can't find anything. Let's see, generator, generator, generator. Reset the failed generator switch back to off, reset, and then back to power. So let's see if I can see that. Oh, okay, okay. So you go off, reset, and then back to power. Right. If after three attempts, generator does not come back online. No, so you've got to do that three times. Yeah, looks like that worked. Warning lights off, I think. Yeah, warning lights off. Might have broken it. You failed to respond to the emergency correctly. The correct procedure is to set the cross-feed switch to cross-feed, reset the failed generator switch back to off-reset, and then back to power. Uh, after cross three attempts, switch. then set the failed generator switch back to off-reset, start the APU, set the APU generator switch is. to power. I have to find that. Apart from the um, cross-feed switch, that wasn't... Uh, it's just flick the switch three times after. Turn to heading 210, Angels 10 at 220 knots. So I have to find that cross feed switch. Right, let's descend. Good. Maintain hours. 210, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Right. Poor. <clears throat> so for the hydraulics, it's cross feed and then three times the switch. For CDU, it's off and on. Right, right hydro failure. Speed brake, emergency retraction switch. Which is around here somewhere. that one that goes on uh, if pressure continues to decrease which it is 
set the SAS anti skid paddle to off. I'm not sure what that is. Well, I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, is that the paddle switch, the anti skid switch then? Apparently the paddle switch is uh, on the stick. So I wonder if that works on here. Yeah, not sure. That might need binding. So, let's have a look. Paddle switch, no. No idea. Keep pitch sass off. So that's pitch sass off. Anti -air. Enable anti skid if left hydraulic system is operable. Land as soon as possible. Yeah, I've definitely missed something there, haven't I? Good. You responded to the emergency correctly. Oh, that's alright then. like a sinking ship this isn't it <laughs> this final emergency test is one that you hope you never have to do under combat conditions Pontiac 1 passing waypoint 7 at 7000 you will be presented with an emergency and required to perform a manual reversion landing at the nearest airfield Manual reversion landing should only be attempted in ideal conditions like we have today. Maximum allowed crosswind is 20 knots. The aircraft must be in a clean condition, so ensure any external stores are jettisoned first. this test with air traffic control at both Cabuleti and the emergency divert airfield located north of Batumi. Choose the airfield you wish to land at and then make your attempt. The hard deck restriction has been terminated. Yeah, three out of four. You are authorized to eject if necessary. Good luck. But if you eject you failed anyway. Left hydro failure. Right, set the flap emergency retraction switch, which is that one. Right, that's that one. Set the assassin supposed to off. Enable manual reversion mode. Right. 
right, so where will that be? Uh, let's see if there's a binding for it. Uh, manual reversion mode. So that didn't think that would be quite that easy. Right, let's have a look. I need to know what that is. Right, so manual reversion mode is this it's on here flight controls normal and manual reversion there So that should be it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now tr your trim switch now works in reverse. Did he say I've got a land as well? Yeah, got a land. So let's this land. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, pitch sass is off. Does it need your sass off then as well? Hmm. That's a weird one. Oh, and you need to flick that out for a landing, anyway. That was definitely, um, yeah, that was a strain. I'll keep hitting my mic. Definitely, all the switches were in the right place. Oh well, I'll just continue doing this anyway until he tells me otherwise.
slight problem with the gear. There you go. So that must be the the Yeah, not sure what to do about the uh gear. <laughs> Right, so you're using the trim in this mode to control the aircraft. I've got no gear. Got no speed brakes. So, so I'm not sure about what to do about the gear then. Seems a bit superfluous. So you can't. So the gear is still supposed to work, even though you've had issues. So maybe it was that cross feed thing that went, but the hydraulics are working. Oh, let's just bang this on the runway. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a tricky one. Yeah, so that time, I uh, managed to get the procedure, starting to learn a bit about the emergencies there, and what uh, what to flick and in what order. I've got the uh, engine restart procedure down, but the uh, that last hydraulic one, I definitely pressed all the buttons and put it into the mode for both. Maybe I've got to, uh, the landing gear comes down first. Uh, let's see. Just says keep pitch SAS off. Set the SAS anti skid panel to off. We did that. Uh, enable anti skid if left hydraulic system is still operable. Uh, for the left side, just says SAS flap emergency retraction. Keep pitch SAS off and land as soon as possible. And uh, so then I suppose I've got to go through the actual landing checklist after the manual reversion landing. I've got to do that checklist as well after that one. Just an external fuel tank, then landing gear over normally or with the auxiliary landing uh, extension handle. So it's the auxiliary landing extension handle I need to use, which is like the, uh, that must like a pump handle or something, is it? Then pull the emergency brake handle, fly a straight in approach to a 1.5 to 2 degrees with low sink rate. When below 50 feet AGL, pitch response becomes degraded. So maybe I need to, uh, should have gone through the manual reversion checklist as well. So it's definitely worth uh, watching that one back and uh, along with the checklist and seeing what we missed and what needs to be uh, done in what sequence. But um, starting to get there with it. And the repetition is where you're learning. So that's always good. There's no point being uh, super great at it the first time. 
just uh, learn, you know. Yeah, third time lucky. <laughs> but that's all good. It's all good. Let's turn these switches off. Oh, dear. But it's quite satisfying. As soon as he says, uh, yeah, that was good, then you know, okay, I know that now. So if I'm flying along and I get shot and I have a right hydraulic uh, problem or I had a CDU problem, I know how to deal with it. Rather than thinking the whole world's ended. Or left generator failure. Just recycle it. Put it in, put the override on and find out where that is. Recycle it three times and it might come back on. So that's pretty awesome. That's good to know. Right, it's also time. It's now four, 4.06 uh, GMT plus one in the UK. And uh, that I'm going to call that a day today. So that was good fun. Lots of learning. It's starting to get a little bit more technical now. A bit more uh, to it. And uh, let's close this. And uh, yeah, it is definitely a learning campaign. When it says flight training, they're not kidding. And don't expect it to be a walk in the park either. It comes a point where you've got to start actually learning. <laughs> Which is, I think it's great. I'm really enjoying it. Doing something that I haven't done in DCS before with the other aircraft. Because I just get in those and fly them and land them. and uh, Getting to understand the systems and how they... Uh, are all related to each other and in what way uh, we got the aerobatics one done a bit earlier and now it's the emergency procedures one so uh, hopefully next uh, next time um, on the next stream we're now that one and uh, yeah so it's all good so it's definitely worth buying it's on DCS World website for nine dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, it's the first DC, uh, A10C Warthog basic flight training campaign by Maple and uh, yeah, if this seems like a challenge to you, definitely go and get it. It's uh, definitely a challenge for me, let's say that. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks to everyone that's come to watch. Thanks for uh, the chat uh, there, Vinny. Uh, it's been great having you here. And uh, I'll be back. Uh, what day are we today? On uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. GMT plus one UK time for uh, having another crack at this. So I hope to see you all then. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, uh, wherever you are, and enjoy your DCS. And I'll see you again. Cheers, guys. <laughs>